Hello everybody and welcome back to the Captain's Channel. This is week five of the regular season after a bye week. Georgia State is off to an absolutely blistering start to the season. There's no way that we could have ever predicted this. Um, if you look at our offensive and defensive stats, especially on defense, we are one of the best defenses in the country at the moment, which is absolutely absurd. We are first in yards allowed. Uh, first in rushing defense as well. So we have absolutely been on fire. Now this week is gonna be probably the toughest test of the season for us when we take on number five, Alabama, who is three and one. They are one in the one, one and one in the SEC. We have not even started our conference schedule yet. Um, uh, but one of the things is going, uh, is going to be that this team is a 99 overall. So if we go through their top players, their quarterback is a 97 with 966 yards, 10 total touchdowns so far this year. Uh, Jay Harris, who is their middle linebacker, and it looks like their right guard. So we are going to be facing a team this week that is absolutely... An, ab an absolutely uh, powerhouse juggernaut of a team that is able to recruit at an extremely high level. So on the injury update, we have uh, Gerard Morris, one of our wide receivers who was injured in our last game. He will not be playing in this week's matchup, which is a bummer because he was performing at an excellent level over the past couple weeks. Uh, I do not know what the first name of the strong safety for Alabama is, but there's strong safety Avery has turf toe. Um, so he, it looks like he will, he might play, might not. I'm not 100% sure. So we're just going to jump right into this game. Super excited. This is going to be, again, one of the toughest matchups we have all year. So we will see, well I'm going to say this is going to be the tough, uh, toughest matchup we have all year. I don't know how you get a much, much harder than 99 overall. So this will be an extremely big test of our team. If we win this game, this would definitely be one of the biggest wins that our team has ever had in the history of the school. And we're just going to see if we can hold up. So after our win against West Virginia, I think anything is possible. All our guys have to do is make sure that we are consistent. We don't turn the ball over too much. We'll see if we we'll see what sort of thing that we we'll see what sort of results we can get from this game. We are going to start this game by receiving the ball. We're not even going to take this one out. Call a fair catch. We want to receive the ball in this game just because we have, um, we're going to have a really big hard time, I think, stopping their offense. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can get anything done here. So first and 10 on the 25 yard line, we got the shaken lines here. Keep it nice and basic. Let's see if our running back, who's actually the 19th. Uh, has the 19th most rushing yards in the country of any running back. Uh, see if we can get him some yards today. Maybe he'll have a big day for us. We're going to go to the air for the first time with M Mark Myrick. And it looks like we've got our first first down of the game. First and 10 from the 40-yard line. Just keep handing it off here. Oh, boy, he lost his balance. That is not a good start to that uh, that series. Second and 10 after that zero yard rush. We're gonna see if we can make up for that here in a moment. And we are sacked. Did not get the ball off in time. And this is one of those things that you gotta be worried about. This defensive front for Alabama is incredibly fast. This is incredibly loud, and that was incredibly dangerous. But we're going to have to pump this ball away. I don't think we're going to be, be wanting to go for this right here. So that sack really killed us. Lambert is back to punt. He's been consistently um, giving us good punts all season. 
So we're going to see if our defense has any shot at stopping this incredibly high-powered Alabama offense. And it looks like they're going to run the ball on first down. And on first down, they get eight. I think in one of our last games, we said our goal is to maybe hold them under 100 points. And if we can do that, we've had a good day. Looks like they're going to pass, short pass, and couldn't get him down on the first tackle. That'll also be an issue, is whether or not we can actually tackle without gang tackling. And it's a runoff to the left side. Are we going to have any shot? Okay, there we go. We got him down after a six-yard rush. So it's second and four. What do they? What are they going to do? They're coming out with a one tight end set, three wide receivers. It looks like it's going to be some sort of option pass. And he just chucks that one away as we get, put the pressure on the quarterback. And wide open on the left-hand side of the field, John Miller gets an 18-yard reception and then runs out of bounds. So we have a two tight end set. We are gonna blitz everybody. And that does not stop them from getting another nine yards on the ground. All right, so it is second and one. And that's just gonna be a screen pass and he is pushed out of bounds. We fall over ourselves, and their running back is still on his feet. It is third in and inches. We are going to show blitz. We'll see if we can get through this line and have no, no shot. Absolutely no shot. They went outside, and they cut off our corners there, held the edges. And now it is first and goal at the three-yard line. We are just going to, unless they're running this, they're going to pass. And we get the sack. It does get more difficult down here to throw the ball. So if you really fill up the end zone with DBs, that can be extremely difficult. So we're just going to do that again. Looks like they might be running this time. She no, maybe... Looks like they audible into something. And he just throws it away. We might actually get out of this with just a field goal. Which would be absolutely amazing. Again, just like against West Virginia, if we can stop them from getting big chunk plays, we might actually have a shot at staying in this. And he is wide, not wide open, but he's pretty, pretty open in the end zone. All right, so we're about to get our second opportunity on offense here in a moment. We are not returning this kick either. About to get our second opportunity. Myrick is back out with the offense. They didn't turn the ball over last time, but they only got one first down. So we're going to see if we can do a little bit better. And Be Jonathan Bell is just, he's having a very, very nice season so far to keep this simple. To continue to get yards on the ground, hopefully in chunk plays, that hopefully that'll open up our passing game. Give us first and ten at the 48. And Thomas, Antoine Thomas catches that ball for another first down. And back in the shotgun, going for a slant. And Butler catches it and breaks a tackle, and he's down to the 15-yard line for a 27-yard reception. If he had thrown it anywhere else, it could have gotten picked. It could have been an incomplete pass. And it looks like we're going to get about two on that rush on first down by Jonathan Bell. We are going to once again go to the pass, except we are going to go for a play action and throw over here to Barnes. We don't get a whole lot. He has to tiptoe on the sideline. 
So third and five, and that is the end of the first quarter with number five, Alabama, leading Georgia State seven to zero. We've had a couple great plays. This drive has been much more productive than the last one. So hopefully we can convert on this third down. Either way, we'll get some points, hopefully, out of this drive. And it looks like we're going to lose a yard right there. Myrick seemed to think that he was open, which he was, but he came back to the ball and got uh, hit behind the line. So we're going to go for a field goal here. And it looks like we are going to get it. All right, first and 10 at the 35. Looks like he almost lost his footing there, and he is, oh, almost goes down. Second and six, that was, that was a risky play right there. So on second and six, we're gonna see what we can do. Can we slow these guys down? Is that even a possibility? And it looks like it is, at least at the moment. They fumbled the ball, but they've landed back on top of it. Unfortunately, that would have been a huge pickup for us. We are not going to stay in man coverage because I do not believe we can keep up with them. And even in zone coverage, they find a soft hole in the defense. So I think if our defensive line can hold up, if our defensive line is able to at least not give up a ton of yards to the run, we may be able to play a pretty balanced defense in terms of attack, balanced defense in terms of the passing game and the run game. So hopefully we can cover it all. So we're gonna, but we're gonna stay in a zone coverage just because again, I don't feel like our defensive backs are gonna be capable of keeping up with these wide receivers. I think we're gonna get burned if we try to do that. All right, first and 10. Let's see what they got up their sleeves. And it is a draw play, and we basically snuff that out. All right, so on second and nine, it looks like they're gonna pass. And he heard the footsteps and didn't catch that ball. He dropped it. All right, so if we can stay within one score right here, but they get a first down and they are inside the red zone. It's so difficult to cover these guys. And he just throws that one out the back of the end zone. Apparently didn't see anybody. The pressure was getting to him. I will say the one strength we have on defense, I feel like is our defensive line. Stagall, Johnson, and McIntyre, and the other Johnson over there are, are excellent. But our defensive backs are struggling right now, have been struggling all year to cover up the pass. And it is another touchdown for Alabama. They now lead 13 to three. One issue is going to be is that if Alabama has all these long drawn out drives and we can't get the ball into the end zone, they are going to take up a lot of clock time. And how did he stay up? That was insane. He was not called down. He was on top of an Alabama player and he was uh, able to get back up. Still lost a yard on that play. And we are just sacked. There's absolutely no shot. And we will try to pass here, but I, oh my gosh, he's wide open. And we got a first down, that was incredible. All right. Dropping back to pass is Myrick, and we're just gonna throw it straight down here for a three yard reception. Nobody was open downfield. Jonathan Bell gets the pass. 
We are not doing streaks again right now. We are never going to outrun these guys. So, but we can out something them. That was not quite where I wanted to throw that ball. Myrick does have a little bit of an accuracy issue. He's okay. But he does struggle on occasion. And they ran into each other. So it is fourth and seven. Although I think we're just going to go for it because I don't see us really being able to come back from much more than this. So we're just gonna go for it. Hopefully we can make something happen here. And it does not. Before anybody can get open, Myrick is sacked, or not sacked, but uh, throws the ball away. And we turn the ball over on downs. Some people might question me for that, but with how easily this offense has been scoring against us, I am not I am not super confident that it would have mattered anyways. Alrighty. And he is open and he got beat. It's a little bit too much for us to overcome right now, you know, even if we have a lot of spirit. Although Bell is, we're, we're, we are pulling off some decent plays here, but as soon as, as soon as Alabama decides to be Alabama, um, we don't get a whole lot. And that was almost picked. All right, so it is second and 10. It looks like they're setting up to defend the pass, so I'm going to run up the middle here, see if we can't find a hole, and we do. Our receivers are just not able to get open versus these awesome Alabama. Oh, except Butler just did. It's gonna. It's just been really difficult for them to get open against these really fast, um, this really fast Alabama secondary. We're going to see if we can get into the end zone here. If not, maybe we can get another field goal. But we're going to try to get into the end zone. Hiking the ball back. And we're, we're sacked. No time whatsoever. We're going to call another timeout. And it looks like we are going to get another first down. We're going to call our last timeout. Um before we're going to have to throw and we need to get into the end zone it can't be uh, and he is wide open Antoine Thomas we're going to do a cover four and back everybody way up and they're just going to run the ball and we gang tackle him. And now it is halftime. The score, number five, Alabama, 21. And Georgia State Panthers, 10. It's kind of amazing that we are actually within striking distance still at halftime. Your Panthers have been playing one heck of a game against a team that they have no business even threatening. To Alabama here at the beginning of the second half, it is 21 to 10. Your Panthers are heroically staying within striking distance, making this not look like a complete sham of a football game. It doesn't look like a blowout yet. We want to be aggressive, but we don't want to be that aggressive. We are never going to be able to stop them if we blitz, if we don't have any safeties back defending the deep ball. Still on their side of the 50. And they just hand it off inside, and there is a huge gap. Huge hole for their guy, Joe Armstrong, to run through. He gets another 11 yards. And again, I just do not know if we have any shot at stopping this offense. They're putting in a valiant effort. But, <coughs> excuse me, coughing there. All right, so we are going to get a third down. My guess will be that they will try to pass over the middle somewhere like that. 
Um, in these situations, they have been trying to pass the ball. But we're going to see here. No, they are going to run it, and they got the first down. All right, it's first and 10. First and 10 inside the 30. They're not quite at the red zone yet. And we take them take Armstrong down after just a one yard gain. We've been averaging on, or we've been allowing on average about 30 yards per game. And that is, that is at an end tonight. Right, see if McIntyre can push this center back, cause some problems. Looks like we did, but their receiver Darius Williams is open and this touchdown, the touchdown is scored. So it is now 27 to 10. We got so close to getting to the quarterback there. You could see it in the replay. Let's see if we can't get in the end zone again. This offense has been doing quite well against this Alabama defense. There's been a few times where their defensive line has overpowered. We're going to see what we can get out of this. All right, over the middle, Butler makes a catch. Nine yard reception. And he gets planted. All right, Myrick has 142 yards at the moment with one touchdown pass. And Bell gets another 14 or so yards on the ground. So he has 74 yards rushing right now. Defensive front from Alabama. All right, you have to give our offensive line some props too for opening up some holes. The blocking's been pretty good. When we've been second and three. Now it suddenly looks like they're going to blitz. So we are going to pass. And we get past him, and Ricks, Chris Ricks, who we have not seen yet today, finally gets his first catch of the game. He's been having an awesome season. And Bell gets another 11 or 12 yards on the carry. You know, whatever happens today, our offense has been absolutely hanging, hanging tough for sure and that was just a huge hit that was that pass was not kind put him right in the teeth of the defense all right so we've got second and ten I don't like that audible there we go and oh we throw the pick and Myrick is able to get the guy down. So we got we got saved right there. We are still on offense. There's no interception. That is brought back. And we're just gonna throw this one away instead of taking the sack. All right, so third and five. This crowd is going absolutely bonkers hoping that their guys will top us. And that was an accident. This will be 13 points for us. I didn't know if we'd score any points in this game that I should have thrown that ball to, and I didn't. But you know what? We're always getting better. And this looks, this does not look promising. Oh my gosh. He runs around our defenders. So we're gonna make the most out of this. Our offense has actually not been doing too badly. A one yard rush by Jonathan Bell. That gets him up to 87 total yards rushing. I think it'd be awesome if we could get him over 100 yards rushing by the end of this game. And it looks like we're going to get pretty dang close. And he got up. Oh, my gosh. Now, let's see. No, I don't want a deep pass. All 
and Thomas, Antoine Thomas gets open for a 16 yard reception. All right, so clock ticking down in the third quarter. We are going to throw a quick slant because they are trying to blitz us. And we're gonna get over 100 yards. Jonathan Bell is 14 rushes for 104 yards. 7 yard, 7.4 yards a carry. So that is the end of the third quarter. And right now, Alabama is well ahead at 35 to 13. But they have not scored 100 points on our Georgia State Panthers. So that is a good our offense has been working pretty well and Allen is able to pull that one in. Oh, Ricks drops that one. He heard footsteps. He couldn't hang on. That might have been that might have gotten him into the end zone. I'm not 100% sure about that. So second and 10 from about the 15. And it looks like they are coming for us, so we are gonna switch out of this. Ooh, that was really close to an interception. Dangerous pass, we got a little greedy there. And we are gonna have a first and goal after Jonathan Bell gets a catch. I'd love for Jonathan Bell to get a touchdown, but I don't know if we're really gonna be able to push this defensive line backwards. Gant has no more luck. A third and goal, let's see if we can't get into the end zone and it looks like Butler has the touchdown catch. So we're at two touchdowns for the season. All right, we are just gonna go ahead and go for two here because why the heck not? And we are going to uh, not get it. Oh darn. Nobody got open. We weren't gonna be able to run it into the end zone. I think if we can, I think if we get a single chance to stop them and get a punt, I think that would be incredible. I think if our defense got had any shot at doing that, that'd be awesome. And we might have one right here because we just got a tackle for no gain. All right, he didn't catch the ball, he dropped it. So it is third and 10 now. Let's see if we can't stop them from converting. I don't know how much luck we're gonna have here, but we might, and we do. We actually stop them and get them to go three and out. I think that in itself is a huge accomplishment because stopping those receivers, getting in the, those receivers way was gonna be a huge, task keeping up with them fighting them for the ball all right barnes gets another catch for 14 yards oh yikes did not see the middle linebacker that could have been very that was very dangerous it is second and 10 we have three minutes and 44 seconds left to go in the game I think it would be great to not get sacked, but we do get sacked. It's hard because I don't want to throw any dangerous passes. All right, we're gonna do the conservative thing here and we're just gonna try to pad some stats with a run for Jonathan Bell. And that is exactly what they are trying to do right now. But they don't get the first down. So I can almost guarantee that they're gonna run the ball here on third and one, or not. We didn't pick in time, but that's still a blitz. 
Still not bad. They're going to let this clock wind all the way down. It looks like we're pretty close to all the way down. And they do get the first as an option keeper for the quarterback. We're going to be a little silly here, and I guess we'll put a, put a goal line offense out here. But my guess is they're going to run the ball. And they do, and we get him for minus two yards. I think we're just going to do the same thing again. They get one yard. And I believe this is going to end the game. So I believe the final score is going to be... Alabama 35, Georgia State University 19. Our boys fought super hard valiantly today, but it was not meant to be as Alabama was able to overpower and um, outdo us in most facets of this game, especially on offense. We just really, especially that first half, were not capable of slowing them down. So... With that, uh, this game is over. We're going to check out some stats here for a moment. Just to, We haven't done that in a couple weeks. And we're going to look at some of these stat lines and see how our guys are doing. All right, so Mark Myrick had an excellent game, even though they didn't win. He had a passer rating of 155.3, 238 yards passing, two touchdowns, completion percentage of 66%. He was sacked four times, and I honestly, I think that is not actually that bad. That could have been a heck of a lot worse. All right, rushing, Jonathan Bell, again is having a terrific season he hasn't he didn't get a touchdown today he had 108 yards on the ground which is only going to help him in those national rankings um myrick was sacked for oh, those are the sacks the minus 35 and gant had one attempt but didn't get any yards receiving John Butler read, led the way in receptions and yards, but Luke Allen and uh, Barnes also contributed quite a lot, as well as Antoine Thomas, especially with that one touchdown catch. Blocking. These three guys will each allow a sack. So not great. Defensive. Donald Abrams got six tackles, six solo tackles. Um, and it looks like it was pretty evenly spread out after that. Two field goals made by Grit Benjamin Griffin. He is a sophomore kicker. He'll be around for a while. Two punts for 83 yards total, averaging 41.5. John Butler, one kick return, one punt return. And yeah, so that is it for us today. So our team did a great job, even though if they, they didn't win, they put in a valiant effort showed great promise for the future. I am excited for our Sunbelt play, which starts next week. So until then, thank you so much if you made it to the end of this video. I appreciate all of your support. Go ahead and like and subscribe, and I will see you sometime soon. Bye-bye.